็ thank you very much for Mr. Kai Wood for kindly uh, presenting the ongoing results of this vehicle test and this is just to focus our uh, uh, strength on collaboration with the engine manufacturing company in jointly evaluating this uh, test of the B10 of in the vehicle thank you very much yep. so on the top line, may I kindly uh, introduce uh, Dr. Han uh, from Economical Research Institute of ASEAN East Asia from the uh, area which is the organization under the ASEAN Secretariat Office which are basically a technical arm for looking in the mutual interest topic among the ASEAN country ก็ขออนุญาตแนะนำดรหันนะครับก็เป็นนักวิจัยอยู่ที่สถาบันวิจัยก็คืออีเรียนะครับสถาบันนี้เนี่ยอยู่ภายใต้เลขาธิการของสภาออฟฟิศอาเซียนนะฮะที่อยู่จาการ์ตาถามว่าทำอะไรนะเดี๋ยวทางดรหันจะมาอธิบายให้ฟังว่าโรของทางนั้นอีเรียได้มีอะไรบ้างนะครับขอเวลาสักครู่นะครับเปลี่ยนไปเป็นสตูดัตอินไพรมีทูบีเฮียทูเกียวอัพริฟท์ทอล์คฮาวเอเรียสแตนฟอร์ดอีคอนอเมกรีเซิร์ชอินสตูดฟอร์อาเซียนและอีเ
and three task force that we are working to support these three task force. First is on the energy efficiency and cons conservation work stream. This had this task force is had by Japan, and another one is here biofuel for transport and uh, other purpose. I think this task force is uh, had by Philippines, but most of the work already uh, done by AISK and uh, col collaborative work like in Thailand. And another one is more economic where I belong to, though I work also across all this because we don't have uh, much resources in there. But most of the economic activity, uh, more theoretical, more uh, price in terms of uh, liberalization of price, integration of price. I'm work on this, and uh, as currently I'm also work uh, to assist this work stream as coordinators. Uh, Singapore had and Australia lead this work stream, but I'm a focal point to lead most of the uh, coordination of various uh, uh, research. Uh, in, research uh, author from uh, various countries. Here our areas and energy units, since it's created, there are many uh, working groups uh, on the particular here, on the energy saving potentials and on energy efficiency. This is actually, they use this uh, outlook model to predict uh, in terms of uh, how technologies I introduce that uh, if alternate, alternative scenario will be applied, what will be the uh, situation will be if there's a government have a policy in targets in terms of let's say promotion of biofuel will be introduced directly in terms of uh, uh, energy saving and uh, energy efficiency. Uh, those, so it's a uh, very important here, and we work closely with the IEJ, it's a uh, Institute of Energy Economic in Japan. Uh, for this actually to uh, uh, working groups. And we also working, I think here, particularly by Dr. Goto here and Ogumai, and together with Dr. Navo, is on working group on the benchmark of biodiesel. And we are continuing from here, though we have been uh, successfully uh, providing uh, various kind of assess. Now we have a standardization of uh, under area, under the 16 government. Uh, we have an uh, area standard of biofuel, and I think compatible with Europe and U.S., things like that. And we are continuing to work on this. Uh, and more in terms of my, uh, more importantly, how actually to drive this, the price of biofuel down by uh, bringing technology, making technology available, like Thailand, I think, has been testing a lot in terms of community in terms of using Google that as my understanding. And with uh, collaboration with Japan, I think this will be very promising in the future. It's also matching with the goal of Thai gov government uh, as well. And this, as I said, in uh, the uh, third work stream is more theoretical in terms of market integration because uh, market integration is talking about one price. Uh, take out a core of transportation. Uh, let's see how this connectivity infrastructure in terms of, like Thailand have benefit already, I think in terms of uh, geography that you very close to uh, Malaysia and Indonesia that they provide biofuels. Uh, I think in the future kind of infrastructure connection in terms of gas pipeline and others. And you also benefit uh, already from Lao in terms of hydropower in, uh, uh, grid transmission line. So I think it's uh, important to work more on uh, uh, market integration on energies. <coughs> uh, so far, we managing uh, the on some of ongoing uh, uh, working group. I think you can see from here. There's a uh, we work on energy saving, uh, energy efficiency, uh, benchmarking, standardization that done by particular. It's, uh, this group and uh, the, the past working group. And we also manage this uh, new working group like uh, strategic use of coal. Because in terms of energy, it's I think very diversified. Because in terms of fuel security and with economic growth in the region, it's very important to, to look for more uh, uh, kind of uh, energy security in, in the region. So uh, a fuel mix, uh, diversification of fuel, will be very important for the uh, Asian economy in the future. Uh, I think we cannot just 
rely on a traditional fuel that is a reserve I think itself can uh, last for a few more decades hopefully but then at one point the, the price itself will not be more acceptable and that I think that we are striving for all, all alternatives that biofuel variable energy in terms of wind and solar and others and now we have uh, a special collaboration with the IEJ also uh, here on energy and also we work with ASEAN in terms of energy outlooks uh, with support also and we have uh, IEA areas S is uh, another we call uh, this established within the ASEAN uh, in terms of uh, energies and we do the ASEAN en energy outlooks and uh, these projects now I, I'm also supporting to this is uh, on Cambodian petroleum demand and supply because they lack of uh, statistics to analyze this uh, uh, demand forecast, I think, on uh, fuel consumption, particular petroleum. And in how research, uh, I think those we are very small team and mostly done by our working group, but we are also initiated in, in terms of more economic theory, in terms of, uh, let's say, is removing or subsidy of fuel what actually happened. Uh, I think that will be good for biofuel because the current subsidy is not uh, good at all for the biofuel. That's why we have uh, current policy in other countries have uh, introduced a feed-in tariff system that provide incentive to these uh, biofuel so that biofuel have, can uh, have a, a market. Is you can access to uh, all publication of the area through this website. And we have area discussion papers, we have a uh, policy brief, we have a uh, project report. And the publication, as I said, uh, particularly here more on this uh, energy market integration, market uh, entry barrier for FDI and uh, pr private investments, electricity market integration that we study uh, about electricity in the regions. Uh, economic development in terms of energy market integration, power generations. And we also done on gas market integration. And here for this working group actually that uh, AIST and this institute of Thailand have worked on harmonization of bio uh, diesel fuel standards uh, in uh, East Asia countries. And we work on now on the, I think, coal, because it's important now, it's more of the electricity supply, most to say that in Thailand it's used by coal here, it's supplied by coal. So it's important that to bring technology with high, high conversion, that is uh, to, to, uh, say, to bring efficiency in terms of uh, uh, when there's uh, installed capacity very small, I think it do not allow to have a uh, proper technology, at least 500 uh, installed uh, uh, megawatt for, for fuel. And also we're doing some of environmental study also. Yeah. Uh, we have various publication because this mostly from our working group on also on this market energy, energy market integration. You can access free to our website. And if you want to, uh, if some want to be more technical, uh, like the outcome of the working group done, uh, more engineering and others also it's related to energy and if you want to uh, uh, understand about the energy market integration, you also have uh, more paper in terms of electricity and others. I think often we produce a policy brief to inform uh, decision makers in ASEAN and East Asia countries. And uh, at the work outside energy unit, actually uh, area cover, not only is the energy, we are supporting ASEAN countries currently on various uh, number of activities and also uh, provide the midterm review on the e economic uh, integration of ASEAN. And we have uh, various uh, symposium to disseminate our research finding. We have workshop, we have conference, we have capacity building to member country, particular focus on CLMV, that country like Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos. I think that need to catch up in other uh, 
ASEAN particular uh, economies and particular catch up uh, economy in the region and also to uh, close the, the, the gap in terms of economics. And a public-private partnership, uh, mostly actually this is a very important in terms of uh, driving investment, but so far it do not really uh, work very well to say, but hopefully that more uh, our, of our activity to bring a different uh, investor, uh, public and private, to drive investment uh, like infrastructure and others. And we also provide some of scholarship to Japan to study particularly for young leaders. And here APEN is Asia Pacific Eco uh, Education Networks to say and disseminate in terms of research. As I said, this my presentation will not actually just to introduce area to you. If you are interested, go to our website and what we're doing. We are collaborate with the 16 countries. We reach out to the most important uh, research institution like AIST, IEJ, and uh, Thailand Institute of uh, uh, Science Technologies. And the more finding of the working group in the past two years will be, I think, presented by st uh, Dr. Navung. But I just want to wrap up a little bit in terms of why this, what are the key drivers behind a biofuel? A promising biofuel, I think, when there's a soaring oil price increase. So I think the alternative, I think that the biofuel immediately come in, as is, uh, I call, is supplementing into this uh, supply chain. So it's not replacing, it's not substitute, but it's uh, supplementing into the supply itself. So it's driving down a total demand in terms of fossil fuel. It's because there's also concern in terms of global warming, so biodiesel is count as is uh, very important to contribute in reduction of greenhouse gas emission. And we produce a standard to assess. I think the working group has uh, produced a guideline on the sustainability assessment in terms of using triple uh, bottom line, economics, environments, whether that viable or not. So what more promising, I think these uh, earlier speakers, Dr. Uh, Yoshik uh, Mura already present, I think more promising when the potential feedstock I call second generation of biofuel will come online. Because the first generation are competing with the food, as uh, Dr. Nobung has already, uh, Nobung has present already, it's competing. But actually, it's really uh, some misperception on that. Because as to say that Asia is very potential in terms of feedstocks, we have to study carefully. But if technology available to bring the second generation, I think the cost itself is available and uh, acceptable and available in the market, then I think this uh, biofuel bio will be uh, very promising in the future uh, markets. So as present already, I think it's important to have a standard biofuel uh, because, uh, and also to understand feedstock, possibility of uh, potential of feedstock in the, the region. And uh, to prevent uh, vehicle trouble, because I heard that um, uh, the more issue is about this uh, ox oxidation itself and about this uh, kind of the problem with the engines so that we need to control the qualities uh, uh, in the market in terms of standardization. So standardized biodiesel fuel production, stabilized fuel quality standard is very important for future bi uh, for bi biofuel use. Let me pick up here. I think there's a standard as uh, when the country actually aim for matching rate uh, blending with uh, traditional fossil uh, biodiesel. Uh, fuel diesel itself. Let's say China, they have 5%, 20%. Uh, in the past, they use 5% uh, by using waste cooking oils and the potential of charcoal parts here. I think there are some target and years. And I just highlight China and Thailand here. And thanks for Dr. Nobung that correct me or some of the target that Thai aim for in the futures. Uh, blending like B2, B5, uh, they, they are using PAM. Actu actually, my understanding that Thailand is one of the very 
successful in terms of community by using this, uh, I think, the Kubota engine, and then it's so very uh, important in the past that the community have access to those biodiesel. As I said, the impurity and oxidation of biodiesel is uh, important. I think the earlier speaker already uh, highlighted about decomposition, flacking, and corrosion, and decomposition. I'm, I'm not kind of engineering that just to highlight that. To bring this uh, biodiesel to the markets, to consumers, I think it needs to bring the standard itself to, to match with the engine and technologies. So that it necessary to do high quality biodiesel fuel to prevent this trouble. Harmonization of standard within East Asia region will facilitate the use of trading of high quality biodiesel fuel. So I think our aim here, we work for safety automobile industry and, uh, and beautiful or so biodiesel actually contribute to reduction of these uh, greenhouse gas emissions. And uh, we are aim to produce high quality biodiesels. And the finding on word I will be of the uh, benchmarking of biodiesel fuel standardization will be presented by Dr. Novo. And I would like to con conclude my presentation and thanks so much for your uh, patience. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Han. So, uh, and uh, I'd like to con uh, summarize in Thai just a few minutes. ก็ดรฮันได้นำเสนอในส่วนขององค์การที่ก็อีเรียนะครับก็คือ Economic Research Institute of East Asia and East Asia and ASEAN นะครับก็คือเป็นหน่วยงานที่เป็น Technical Research Arm ภายใต้การ Endorse and Recognize จาก ASEAN Secretary Office เขาจะเห็นได้ว่าในส่วนของตัวอีเรียเนี่ยก็จะไม่ได้เน้นในส่วนของ Technical อย่างเดียวนะก็มีในส่วนของทั้งนั้น Economical เข้ามาเกี่ยวข้องแล้วก็ในส่วนโดยเฉพาะอย่างยิ่งความร่วมมือกันระหว่างประเทศสมาชิกทั้งหมดก็คืออาเซียน10สิบบวกหกนะฮะก็คือ10 plus 6 country ก็คือมีอาเซียน10แล้วก็มีจีนญี่ปุ่นเกาหลี3แล้วก็ในส่วนของออสเตรเลียมาเลเซียแล้วก็อีกประเทศหนึ่งถึงไปละเป็น16 country นะครับก็ในส่วนนี้เนี่ยในส่วนหนึ่งใน working group ของอีเรียเนี่ยก็จะดูในส่วนของการ benchmark ของ standard biodiesel นะครับซึ่งเดี๋ยวผมจะนําเสนอในอีกไม่กี่นาทีข้านี้แต่ว่าทั้งนี้ทั้งนั้นเนี่ยก็ต้องยอมรับว่าในเรื่องของสแตนดาร์ดเนี่ยมันก็มองได้2มุมนะครเดี๋ยวผมจะนําเสนอว่ามันก็เป็นในส่วนของการเทคนิคอลพอยต์วิวก็มีส่วนในส่วนของการเทรดดิ้งแบรเรียร์ก็มีส่วนอีกอันหนึ่งเหมือนกันเพราะว่าในถ้าเราดูแล้วเนี่ยในประเทศ <coughs> ทั่วโลกเนี่ยก็จะมีสแตนดาร์ดหลักๆอยู่ประมาณ3ที่นะฮะก็จะมีส่วนของตัวสแตนดาร์ดของยุโรปนะครับ EN สแตนดาร์ดของอเมริกาคือเอเชียแล้วก็เส้นของทางญี่ปุ่นซึ่งในหน่วยงานเนี่ยก็ทางญี่ปุ่นเป็น funding ซะส่วนใหญ่นะก็จะมีส่วนที่ว่าเขาจะมาช่วยเห็นเซตมาตรฐานใน East Asian Summit ตรงนี้ขึ้นมานะครับก็ขออนุญาตสรุปตรงนี้คร่าวๆก่อนแล้วเดี๋ยวผมจะนำเสนอในส่วนของ biodiesel standard นะครับ